can't be having those uh, chalky chalky legs, man. Ashy Larry legs. What we did say? Uh, appa apparently, you're uh, telling them all about your new trainers. But before we do that, we need to clean up this mess because we've had we've had some some complaints on the channel. And big up to that comment because um, he's not a hater. He's not a bad fan. He told me to clean up the place. Doesn't look professional. Nathan always tells me as well we should clean up the mess. But we're busy, man. We're working hard. It's really hard. So we're just going to move this and just put it probably in the corner over there. So let's go do that now. See, man, we make our staff at RA work hard. He's gone from he's gone from videographer extraordinaire to handyman. To make you feel good. Yeah. No, I don't touch it. Why not? Could be poisonous, man. Right. Could be Black Widow. It's not Black Widow, bro. We're in England. <laughs> England, bro. All right, people. Got a nice clean setup for you. We'll sort out in a minute. All right, today, guys, we have got a really cool video. I get loads of questions on a daily basis asking me what are the best trainers for skipping. And if you watch this channel a lot and see all my videos and tutorials, you'll see for the last I guess year over a year now, I've not been actually wearing any shoes like because I prefer skipping in socks. But now, finally, I found myself a really, really good pair of trainers, which I really want to do just a review on to help you guys. Yeah, I guess get an idea whether or not it's in your budget or you want to give it a go. But they are the Nike free. I get this wrong all the time. Nike free 5.0s, okay? You're gonna see them in close-up details. I'm gonna tell you what's great about them, the small little details which I think can be improved, but give them a go. I actually think these are almost the perfect skipping trainer. So let's get set up. I'm gonna get myself my mat here because we keep it safe on this channel, people. We always keep it safe, all right? Always make sure you're on a, on a mat when you're, when you're skipping. Um, but we haven't really done many trainer reviews here at RA. Again, if you're OG, you'll know that I was actually trying to develop my own trainer um, and that's still in the pipeline, taking a little bit of time. But for the meanwhile, uh, if you're looking to get a grab, like grab a set or you're trying trainers out, you don't feel comfortable, the ropes hitting the heels or they're feeling heavy, go for this option, okay? So let's bring Nathan in here closely. Let's get a little close up on these trainers, brother. Um, this is how they look on, on my feet. Don't watch the, don't watch the kind of, Ashy Larry ankles, yeah. They've been creamed, but it's how they look, peeps. Um, basically, it's a fly knit composition, so it feels exactly like like how you imagine, right? Just like a like a knit, it's like a sock. Really, really nice. Super, super light, and really, really kind of like thin or small sole, which is what I actually prefer when it comes to kind of skipping because it allows you to stay on the balls of your feet really nice and easily. And I've always liked having the feel of kind of like skipping in socks, which is why I've really rarely worn trainers when I show you tutorials. And because it helps me kind of condition my feet, my body. And I've always skipped like that from when I first started, which is just like having that free feeling and that kind of like close feeling with the floor. So the reason why I like these guys is one, comfort. So when I'm now sort of just doing my bits and pieces, by the way, rocking, rocking the new special edition Legacy Rope, right? May the 11th. I'm gonna put some captions here. That's when it goes live, all right? So when I'm skipping now, generally, you know I'm always talking about staying on the balls of your feet, keeping those heels up, and literally they feel light as a feather. And that's just the fly knit range for, for Nike, right? When I first started the channel as well, the first set of shoes that I used to always, always wear were these blue fly knit, uh, they were 3.0s at the time. So now this is the 5.0s. And yeah, really nice, comfortable on the balls of my feet. They actually feel like I'm not even wearing trainers, which is really nice. And the really good thing is when you are skipping people, the really, really important thing, always keep in mind, heels off the floor, stay on the balls of your feet, and you wanna take the pressure nice and light, no knee flexes, keep those legs nice and like light, nimble. And these trainers allow you to do that. The second thing is why I really like them is it's quite a simple little detail. Come in here close, bruv. It's just simply, you can just throw them on and off, right? Literally just slide your foot in, and you just pull them on. I'll show you that again. And that's what I always like, man. It's just, it's just comfort, it's a comfort thing. You don't wanna be messing around, tying your shoelaces. I've tied the, shoel the, the shoelaces like, I've tied the shoelaces kind of now, and I haven't actually had to undo them or redo them, if that makes sense. So if you look at the closer details, it's a black and white knit. They come in kind of different colors, I, I believe on the website, but I went with these ones. Um, and the sole, in terms of the grip, looks like this. It's gonna be look a little bit messy, but, no real 
no real kind of like harsh grip ridges, which also make a big difference when you're skipping. Sometimes when people skip in the wrong type of trainers with the wrong grip, they end up tripping like on the bottom of the soles because the grip is like, you get that kind of 3D grip with a lot of tread and then the rope clips it and then you trip up. Um, one of the bad things, this is the only probably the bad point that I have to quickly mention, is the heel. So I'm gonna quickly bring this up close to the camera as well. The heel, it has this, this thing that sticks out here, which is the only, only bad thing that I wish if I could change it, I'd round this, I'd round this heel in here so that it kind of fits all the way, like smooth around the back instead of sticking out like it does here. The fact that it sticks out is the only bad point because I found when I have been using them for the last kind of like three, four days is that sometimes the rope can hit, can clip the back of them if you're not super, super accurate with the timing. And like I said, because I skip in like no trainers normally, normally I don't have that issue because it's not clipping the back of my heel. So that's the only bad point of these trainers. Um, look, I'm gonna try to do, try to do a couple of little moves here. Let's say you're doing something like double unders. Really, really nice. Really, really nice, solid, really good set of trainers. The laces are also really nice. Simple to kind of tie up, simple to take off, put on. And I think the style and aesthetics look really good. So if you guys are interested in this shoe, um, here's a little link. Sick one, helicopter. Um, here's a little link here from Nike. Go check it out. I've got these for 100 pounds here, UK sterling, which is about $115, something like that. Might be cheaper in your country, but yeah, that's my Nike review, guys, man. Really like it, solid shoe. And um, always, always, always don't forget, if you're new to the channel and <laughs> still don't know what's going on, we're at home with Trump Fitness and Lifestyle. Probably should have said that in the intro. But yeah, go cop this one. This is a new one. Special edition Legacy Rope. Got a special edition icon coming out and also new products along the way. So check the links down below. If you like these kind of reviews, if you want me to review other products or if there's anything else out there that you'd like me to check out, um, yeah, drop me a comment. Listen, let me know what you guys are using down below. It'd be useful for the community. Let people know what trainers you're using. I personally believe these are the best trainers out there right now. For me, for any sort of style, uh, stay protected. Don't do what I do and skip in no trainers. I'll see you in the next video, as always, guys. So take care of yourself. Skip the treadmill. Stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now